Breaking, Jeff Sessions just issued powerful order that has Democrats in complete meltdown, our new Attorney General under President Donald Trump, Jeff Sessions has announced a new policy on Wednesday. And believe it or not, it's making liberals and the mainstream media become more unhinged than ever before. Who would have thought that was even possible? This new policy, which came as a memorandum to all U.S. attorneys and Justice Department leaders, prohibits the payouts to third parties and settlements reached by the Justice Department. Breitbart reports, for decades, through a variety of initiatives, the DOJ has insisted on donations to third parties as part of the settlements it reaches with defendants, especially corporations. In the Obama administration, this practice took on the character of a slush fund which funneled hundreds of millions of dollars from these corporate defendants and put it into the hands of non-government organizations. Recipients have included left-wing community organizer groups such as the National Council of La Raza, or The Race, a Latino racial advocacy group that supports mass illegal immigration. Other recipients include the National Urban League, the National Community Reinvestment Coalition, and NeighborWorks America which is a congressionally chartered mortgage aid group that itself has come under widespread criticism. So basically what Attorney General Jeff Sessions has done here is put a stop to the practice of the paying off of certain left-wing groups through slush funds. Most of these groups have supported and made huge campaign contributions to radical far-left politicians in the Democrat Party. Such as the Marxist Bernie Sanders and crooked Hillary Clinton. How did you think these circus clowns amass so much money to run billion-dollar campaigns? As Breitbart News has reported, this practice requires no direct authorization by Congress. Begun in the 1970s with the Community Reinvestment Act, the practice of requiring banks and financial institutions to fund community organizations and settlements to offset supposed wrongdoing exploded in the aftermath of the 2008 financial crisis. The Obama-era Department of Justice came to massive settlements with big banks over a multitude of alleged unfair lending practices. Part of the Obama DOJ's remedy was for millions of dollars to be transferred to these often left-wing groups that, among other things, provide mortgage assistance. This policy was the subject of a scathing 2016 report by the Independent Government Accountability Institute. In 2015, a group of congressional Republicans raised the alarm about the practice, a campaign that has picked up steam since the inauguration of President Donald Trump. According to Heritage Foundation legal scholar Paul Larkin, the practice may even be illegal for reasons including that it allows the Justice Department to pick and choose among organizations that should receive federal funds without any guidance from Congress or any oversight by the Judiciary or Appropriations Committees in either chamber. Wednesday's memo categorically puts an end to the practice regardless of its validity under the law. This particular part of the Great Society scam began in the late 1970s with the Community Reinvestment Act signed by then-President Jimmy Peanut Farmer Carter, in order to give the Democrat Party the lock on poverty vote. This practice required banks and financial institutions to fund community organizations. This was actually the setup to the housing meltdown of 2008. Of course, many politicians, including former President George W. Bush and the senator from Arizona John McCain both sounded the alarm, but the nation wasn't ready to listen pre-2008. The Sessions memo read, Effective immediately, Sessions wrote, Department attorneys may not enter into any agreement on behalf of the United States in settlement of federal claims or charges that directs or provides for a payment or loan to any non-governmental person or entity that is not a party to the dispute. This is just one of the many ways our politicians have been funneling money from the already overburdened taxpayer to the welfare state. You would think all these policies at least means their hearts are in the right place. But nothing could be further from the truth. As always it's all about them. Although Democrat President Lyndon Johnson's so-called Great Society plan sounded great, it was never about actually helping people. It was modeled after communism and the only people it actually helped was Democrat politicians at the ballot box. Yet the poor keep falling for it election after election. Please share if you support our new Attorney General Jeff Sessions. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.